Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Cupid's Bow. Cupid's Bow was submitted to me by Bad Bun 123 Cupid's Bow is a super friendly pony who absolutely loves Valentine's Day. It's her favorite day of the year. So so let's get started making Cupid's bow. I'm gonna use Fluttershy as the base for Cupid's bow. I'm just gonna start off by prepping the pony for customization using a little bit of acetone to remove the cutie mark and to remove the top half of the eyes because these eyes are shaped a little bit weird and I want to make them rounder. And then we need to remove Fluttershy's original hair so we can give Cupid's bow that really awesome turquoise hair later on. I'm twisting the head to the side very firmly until it pops out of that neck plug. And then I'm going to take my pliers and pull out the rest of the neck plug so I can get access to the inside of the head. Now, if the neck plug doesn't come out easily for you, you're going to have to cut it out using an X-Acto knife. So I'm actually going to reattach both pieces of the neck plug right now so that way I don't accidentally lose the little yellow piece and then I'll be looking for for it because that has happened to me before so there's that now I'm just going to actually trim off all of the tail and then push in the rest of the tail using the end of my scissors she'll be getting a new tail later on the body's all prepped now let's finish with the head i'm gonna take some large scissors and cut off the bulk of the hair and then i'm gonna go in with some very small scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp this step is super important because the shorter the hair is the easier it is going to be for you to pull out the roots that are actually anchored inside of the head so i'm going to reach in there with my pliers and pull out all of these bunches of hair and glue until the head is completely bald and ready to be customized into cupid's bow so the head and the body are all prepped let's get started for the base color i'm going going to be using this really pretty pink nail polish from Sally Hansen called La Vida Polka and it is just a really pretty creamy medium toned pink. I thought it was a really good match to the drawing and I'm going to paint the head and the body with two coats of this nail polish. Of course I'm going to kind of save the eyes or what's left of the eyes and just paint around them. So the nail polish is all dried. I'm switching over to acrylic paint for her eyes. I'm using some white to go in and redefine the eye shape. Gonna use three coats of paint there. Going in with this really gorgeous shade of blue for her actual eye color. And then off camera, I'm gonna give her some eyelashes because drawing those on camera is really hard with that tiny brush. Giving her her eye and two light reflections and these eyes are adorable once all the paint has completely dried i'm going to cover the head with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in so those eyes don't get scratched off i'm going to put that to the side let it dry and start working on the body going in with that same really pretty pink nail polish la vida polka i'm going to cover the entire body with two coats The 
the nail polish is all dried I'm going in with a medium shade of purple and giving her wings a purple tip and I love it when these Pegasus ponies have the tipped wings I think that it's so pretty and you know now that I'm thinking about it I don't even remember the last time I customized a Pegasus I don't remember the last time I did a rainbow dash or a Fluttershy since the OCs get picked randomly I don't get to choose so now it's time for the cutie mark which is a heart with an arrow through it so I'm using my nail dotting tool and I'm gonna put down two red dots right next to each other with a little bit of space in between them and then I'm gonna go in with a nail brush and I'm going to connect the dots to create a heart. It is a really awesome and easy nail hack that I learned a long time ago. It's gonna create a really good shaped heart for me. I'm gonna let that nail polish completely dry and then go in with a fine brush. This is the same brush I actually use for the eyelashes on all of my ponies and I'm gonna draw on the arrow so i'm gonna start with the bottom and i'm gonna have the arrow going upward so let's just put in one little line and then i'll put some lines down at the bottom to make it kind of look like feathers on the arrow and then i will give it an arrow head and just like that that cutie mark is in Once the paint has completely dried, I'm going to cover the entire body with the coat of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. And now the head has actually completely dried, so I'm going to switch back over to that because it is time for hair. I picked out this gorgeous shade of blue called Atomic Turquoise from dollyhair.com. I mean, look at that shade. It is fabulous, and that's what I'm going to be using for her hair today. This is my rerouting tool from dollyhair.com it's a pronged needle I like to grab the hair and kind of wrap it gently around my finger and catch it right at the top of my little rerouting tool you can see that hair is caught right in the middle of those two prongs it is kind of sharp so just decide what hole you want that hair plug to go into press down firmly and just like that, the first hair plug is in. You can see where it has anchored itself inside of the head. And you're just gonna repeat this process over and over again until the entire mane is completely filled in. The strands of hair that I'm using are a little less than 10 inches long. So when folded in half, I'm getting a mane that's around 5 inches, which is a really good length for these really small ponies. Once all the hair is in, you need to anchor it and secure it from the inside or it's going to fall out. I like to use my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a very generous amount of glue inside of the head. And once it's cooled and dried, it is going to completely secure everything in now it's time for her tail I'm using some white gorilla glue I'm going to put a little bit directly inside of the pony's tail hole and I have gathered a bunch of hair in a twist tie I'm gonna thread that twist tie through the tail hole and then just use the end of my nail dotting tool to push that tail into the body and once that glue has dried it's gonna puff up and secure it from the inside and it is not gonna go anywhere so that's it for the pony let's take a look at the completed custom
Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem, just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.